Oops. Oh God! What the hell was that? Don't leave. Put it on top. That's suspicious because they're literally hiding. What is up guys? Thank you for watching Franco TV. So I've made it about eight to nine hour drive into a middle of a desolate, almost kind of like a desert-like cemetery where all the graves have been desecrated. I've come here before on a vlog, but everyone was saying you gotta do like a Franco travel, a Franco TV video there. Or at night, this place is completely different. It is extremely dark. I can't see anything, like literally nothing as of right now. Just a fragment of a camera lens. All the graves that I'm about to head into have been desecrated, body parts removed, skulls for God only knows what, and stolen. And I'm just about to head into the place now. This is a memorial site for that very cemetery, which is dark, a creepy, creepy, narrow road. Look at this, Cementerio 1985. And you can practically see other trees down there but they're all dead from here on out everything past here is dead and decaying as far as life goes and there's this creepy little box right over here i think i showed you guys before just for prayers for all the bodies that are here remains that have not been identified they're all laying through this area here so this is another little shrine area where they have prayers and blessings Oh, what is that? Look at this. For blessings for the remains out here and the people that passed away. These are little pouches of offering. Oh God, what the hell was that, a bird? Holy crap. I just saw something peek its little head out and scared the hell out of me. But you can see here, there's little offerings here that people leave here for the, for the people who've you know, passed on and stuff. Look at this. This is a little shoe. My car is just above there. But this is a little shoe of a baby. I'm not really sure what's in the belonging bag here. I'm pretty sure these are all for like rituals and stuff. Good or bad, I, I don't know. But if you guys know, let me know in the comments. I haven't even made it in here and I think there's more bags behind the tree. Check this out. I want to get out of this area because there seems to be dogs everywhere surrounding me on the outside. Look at this. This is just on the only tree that's still alive before I go into this place. Isn't that something? If you guys know what this means, let me know. I just made it down the long road. Look how creepy all these trees are. And down there is the town that I just came from. That town is literally the last part untouched from the flood. From then on, everything seems to work. But all the way over here, look at all these stars. And then over here is a graveyard. It's kind of hard to see now, but there's not a single bit of light. I know it looks like light up there, but that's actually way across. That's far away. I just made it out of my car. I actually walked down here a little bit. I heard a weird sound, which got me on edge for a second. But right down there, if you see a red light, that one right there, that's my car. Kind of behind the trees up there. But I just heard a really creepy sound. I want to see if I could catch it again. Because if not, I'm probably going to run out of here. But that's the cross. And right over here is the entrance to the graveyard. This whole thing used to be a lot bigger back in the day, but it just got destroyed. But this is thousands upon thousands of people's remains and bodies that are just kind of left out here in the middle of the desert. And there's definitely skeletal remains still present here. I wish you guys are about to see it. It is ridiculously cold out here. I'm clenching onto my flashlight in case I have to attack whatever the hell I have to attack. But this is pretty much what I'm seeing. The stars are phenomenal. There's a huge bright star over there. But a lot of the times when you're out here, uh, the stars just seem to glare and 
glisten and then it just disappears, which is weird. I hear dogs. They sound a lot closer than what they did before. God, I do not want to walk in here. This place is generally terrifying. This is what I'm talking about. This is one of the tombs that I've seen earlier. And someone already took the bones out of the tomb. And put it on top. Those are the teeth that I seen last time. So I have the rim pod here. I just changed the battery. It's a brand new Duracell. I'm surprised I found a Duracell battery out here. Let me go ahead and turn this thing on and not touch it. There we go. So now it works a lot better than what it's ever done before. I literally thought I broke this thing, so I wasn't sure. You can see is my night vision camera, which is watching everything that's going on. I start asking questions. This thing is touching me. I was like, what the heck is that? Okay, I just got a temperature spike. I haven't even started anything yet. I'm about to ask questions. And I've already got a temperature spike. It is cold out here, but I've already had the rim pot outside, so everything is already ambient temperature. Who is here with me? Can you step forward in front of me and explain to me what happened here? Why are there body parts outside the tombs? I literally hear. Listen. It's very faint, but it's out there. sound like a scream, but it's very far. Listen. Is there anybody here tonight that's willing to talk with me? Give me a sign, show me a presence that you're here. Feel free to. Are you okay with me being out here recording? If not, just step close to the red light. Okay, that, that right there is not the rim pod going off. That's a temperature spike. See the difference? See? That's just the blue light. That's just saying the temperature is going off, which is still kind of weird. I've moved my night vision camera, so now it's directly in front of me. And this thing is occasionally going off. I do also have the... Uh, I just got Doreen. Dodie, I don't even know what that is. I was just gonna say, just have the ovulus on, so the ovulus is gonna start talking, saying things at random. So whatever works, and that goes with whatever I'm asking, we'll see how that is. I keep hearing stuff. Is there someone here with me tonight by the name of Dorin? Arien naki ke yama Dorin. Because it said Dorin, so I'm just going with it. If you're here tonight, I want you to get close to me. Tu puedes secarte de mí? A frente de mí? Donde esta luz está? My name is Jack. My name is Jack. Oh my god. Jack, if you're with me right now, and you're the one I'm talking to, do you know why everyone's skeletal remains and this whole mausoleum has been destroyed and desecrated? And why are their bodies still here? What, what is going on? Can you tell me? The first light is my night vision infrared. The red light here. I don't want to scare you. You don't have to scare me. All I would like you to do is talk to me. Is it just me or I'm seeing a light up there? Someone's coming. Someone appears to be coming towards my car now. 
I had to put the camera down for a second because I don't know what the heck they want. I just seen a light. Turn the IR off. See? What was that about? <sighs> Scared the hell out of me. I saw a brief light from a distance and then slowly but surely started getting bigger and bigger. I'm like, wait a minute, I don't think that's from the town that's coming over here. Okay, I just came out of the car. Um, the skeletal remains are right over there on the inside. But as you can see, there's a car still way out there in the distance. Uh, I don't really like how this is because he's kind of hiding behind the wall. What I'm gonna do for now is that I'm going to actually get out of this little area here just for a second because I don't know if they're going to call someone to come over here or you never know what could happen. I'm in a foreign country, so you just never know. I'm going to see if I can head to a different area from here, kind of watch from afar and see how this turns out. But that's suspicious because they're literally hiding behind that little corner there, probably waiting until I'm not paying attention because they did see me with my light out. I had my, my bright light on when I was recording. I think they're gone. I already drove up there. I checked. There's nobody up there. I have the graveyard back to myself. I'm going to kind of proceed with doing my walk and, and using the K2 on the ovulus, seeing what I could get out of being out here. And then I want to check out a big abandoned location called the Matadero, which you guys haven't seen yet, at least not on this channel, but let's get into it. If there's anybody here with me right now, I need you to talk to me before I have any more interruptions. Can you let me know if I'm okay, if I'm safe being here? I might need you to be my bodyguard. I'm getting some spikes here. I need you to be my protector here to let me know. Look at this. See that? I'm getting a bunch of spikes. Thank you for talking with me. Do you even know why so many remains are left out here or are you just wandering spirits and don't know? Maybe. And I just got a response that just said, wait. I thought I saw something. It just, I'm sorry, I got a response that just said maybe. Not long after the spirit box, the K2 went off. So do you think maybe there's somebody here? I am getting spikes still. Do you want to tell me what's going on? Don't leave. Don't leave. I'm not going to leave. I'm going to stay here with you for as long as you need me, but I need you to talk with me and let me know. Is it safe for me to be here? Is there a chance that anyone else could come here? How many spirits are here with me right now? Or people? How many people are here besides myself? How many? How many? I don't know why it said how many. How many what? How many spirits? How many people are here with me right now? I feel like I'm in communicating with something. Definitely something. It does sound sort of direct. Right, I'm going to keep moving forward. Were you buried in any of these tombs here? I don't know if you're just a wandering spirit or maybe someone else. Is your tomb out here? I'm in black. I'm in black. What the hell was that? I just heard noise.
voices in front of me after I just got the response. I'm in black. Alright, I'm hearing a lot of noises. What do you mean you're in black? Were you buried in black? Were you dressed in black? That's a black tomb. I don't know if that has to be. Found a black tomb as well. But hold on, I heard something. Look at this. So if you look up there, I have these car lights that just went back on again. That might be the same people that drove here for a second. And while looking for something, I did hear what sounded like a loud bang. I'm looking for witchcraft from what I seen the last time I was here. But it looks like it's all been cleaned up. Trying to make my way towards the main road. So I literally had to just beeline it straight to the car. I got another car just coming in here. I don't know what these people want. I think it's the same people too. They know I'm here because they see my car and now they turn back into it again. If they're going to visit, that's fine. But it just throws me off because I don't know what their intentions are. suspicious at all. I'm now heading towards the Matidor or Matidero. I see a light way back there that's far in the distance and there's a town to my left not too far from where I'm at. But besides that this place is massive. I just switched off my main lights because I don't want too much attention here. sure what to expect. Let's see if I could balance my way. I thought I heard a dog coming. Hello? I have been in here during the daytime. This is the first time I come here at night. Definitely different feeling. You should see how creepy this looks like with regular color. You guys can see everything with the night vision. Oh my god. That's the second time I think it's creeped me out. I keep thinking it's a person. It is an art, not a crime. If there's anybody here with me tonight, I'm opening up myself to you. For who passed away in this town due to the incident with the flood. I want you to feel free to talk to me. I'm like an open vessel. Are you okay to talk to me or give me a sign? What's your name?
Maria, Sonia, Carlos, I really wanted to respond. I legit thought it was a person. Sounds like an animal screaming outside. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but something, it's an animal, I think. Thank you guys for watching Franco TV. I just made it to the front of the uh, Matador place, I think. <laughs> I, can't, I can't say the name right. But I got a ton of responses on this video, including the one graveyard area. It sucks that I had company kept coming in watching me. I didn't know what that was about. I don't know this town too well. Pretty much not at all. And I don't want to get robbed. But then I finished it up over here where I did also get a weird couple of responses and then started getting spikes further into the investigation. Let me know if you guys seen anything that I might have missed. I miss you guys. I love you guys. I can't wait to show you guys the next location because I'm coming to an end here in Argentina. From here on out, I make my way to the next awesome country. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys on the next adventure. Bye guys!